bakery challenges. So you're going to be working with these big bakeries, Bimbo Bakery, Martin's, uh, Pepperidge Farm. All of these are, they used to be family owned bakeries and now they've been bought out by these big mega corporations. And it's, you're dealing with behemoths of corporations, which we're the little guys, we're the independents. So it's not as, you know, it's not like we're going to get their attention very easily. Let's just say it that way. So you have to deal with. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you guys deal with some similar stuff like that within the FedEx space. So some of the things like dealing with the bread companies like Bimbo, you can buy back a bread line if it becomes a high demand item. So meaning if I'm if I'm selling a product, let's say, for example, Takis, right? Takis is one of the items that we sell under the Bimbo route brands. If I'm selling this, this product and Bimbo, the corporate company, the bakery, decides that Takis has enough volume to do its own route, they might buy that back from me. So that's a that's kind of a downfall and a con for us because that could have been a very big revenue driver for our route. That could have been a huge opportunity as far as growth for our route. So it kind of hinders our growth opportunity sometimes if they're taking away some of these big players. But the good news is they don't do this often. They do it for standalone brands that they're actually planning to make nationally known and globally aware. So it's it's a good and a bad because the good news is they're going to blow that brand up even bigger. They're going to make more money opportunities for everyone in the space. So we'll still probably be able to make some cash flows from that down the line. But as a, on a short term level, we're losing that that immediate cash flow. And that's where it could hurt us a little bit on the on the pocket side. Right. Um, and then next is also no parking at the depots. So, for example, in the FedEx space, you guys can park at the terminals. You guys can leave your vehicles there because we're independent contractors. They're expecting us to find our own parking facilities, our own situations. So we can't really bring our stuff there. Now, some depots, if you have a relationship, you have multiple routes, things like that, then you might be able to work something out. But on the general for across the country, you're not going to be able to park an independent truck on private commercial property from, from the bakery standpoint. So there's just two things to think about um, for, from a parking lot perspective. I think we pay anywhere from $100 to $200 for our parking spots a month. Nothing big. Um, something easy for you guys to handle. Um, and then from the, the bread company side, it's about also voicing your opinion and talking to the general managers and the people that are there to facilitate with the independents. We also voice our opinions to them. Hey, this is the bread is not coming the way we need it. Or the, sometimes the bread, the, the bakery will cut items. So, hey, I ordered 100 loaves, but this week, but this day they only bought in 50. So those are situations where we would actually speak to the general managers and the head big bosses and explain to them, we can't continue to have these type of problems. What are we doing to mitigate these problems and actually, you know, get us the product that we need because our customers are waiting for it. So it's a, it's a very much a partnership as far as we can tell them what we like and we don't like. It's not like, you know, a, a parent and a child situation. We're both at the same level as far as we paid a lot of money to be at the table here. They got to listen and respect what we got to say as well. So it's a very good, um, you know, conversation as far as back and forth. Um, so that's from the bakery and that side of stuff.